Melinda, thank the goddess you're all right. Uh, the man... He's fine. I came back after finding Ash, and by the time we got back to him, he was... Well, it looks like we had a passing magician come and stitch him up. They even reset his bones. Ash is with him now. I don't know what I would have done if he had died because of me. It wouldn't have been because of you. It would! I should have stopped the wagon, used the shield, stopped it with hair magic before it hit that family! <sighs> I owe someone big time. Hmm. I don't know. The, 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 hopefully we'll find out more with him. Shuffling around. <laughs> Why shadow is that thing? Oh, it's you. Are you here to hit me on the head again? What? No, okay, no. No. I'm actually supposed to come and do another dose of healing magic. And don't worry, your head's safe. Another? Don't tell me you were the one who healed me the first time. I'm surprised I survived the affair. Ugh. Look, I'll just give you a quick once-over. The concussion or whatever should mostly be healed. This is just supposed to assist with any residual damage. I think I'll take my chances. If I was going to have done more damage, don't you think I would have done it while you were unconscious? So, the fact that you didn't take me out while I was sleeping is supposed to make me feel better? Believe me, if I was going to do something to you when you were sleeping, it wouldn't have been take you out. Oh my gosh. What's that supposed to mean? Just shut up and let me have a look at you. Well, I don't really feel well enough to fight you off. Oh, uh, do you, um, mind if I touch you? I very rarely mind it when a pretty girl touches me. Oh my gosh. That being said, I would really prefer if you did not smash my head again. <laughs> Whoa. What? Never been healed before? Can't say I have. Did you grow up in a town without a mage? Something like that. <sighs> That's pretty incredible. So you've really never felt healing magic before? <laughs> I wish. Last time I got a cock on the head, I was down and out for almost a month. Do they not have paladins where you're from? <laughs> no. Is that because you're a... A siren? Yeah, my people don't really seem to have access to healing magic in the abundance that yours do. I've heard of royalty having their own healers, but I've never really met one myself. Well, then let me be your first. My name is Belinda. Priamos. So, where are you from, Priamos? Recently, or are you asking where a siren's from?
That's what I was thinking too. I don't care. Either. Whatever you want to talk about. <laughs> well, if you really don't care, I'd rather not talk about myself. I would like to hear about you. Uh, me? You're a healer in service to this kingdom's king, right? Yeah, sorta. I believe the technical term for my magic is thaumaturge. What? Thaumaturge? That sounds like some made-up kobold word. Well, you aren't half wrong. We have two kobolds currently staying with us. Kobolds on the mud plains? What are they doing here of all places? It's trying to get aid, apparently. Their kingdom has been under siege. Is this the first you've heard of it? I really have to assist with deliveries to the swamplands of the kobolds. They're usually more than comfortable with standard delivery protocols. Do you know much else? Not really. They're very secretive about everything. All I know for sure is they want the help. No, more than that, they need mages. That's awful. I feel like I need to do something. Can you do any magic? No. I've been tested. I... Like any of the seven magical forms. Eight. What? There are eight forms of magic. Or at least there are, according to kobolds. Are you serious? When did they discover the eighth? I don't know. You'd have to ask them. Like I said, they're secretive. Wow. How long have I been hiding from the real world? I don't know. How long has it been? And how have you been hiding from the world as a delivery person? Postman. Postman. Whatever. I haven't really been keeping proper track of the years, and it's easy to miss the world when you're only poking your head into it long enough to drop off a letter or package. Where are my goggles? Hey, Ash. Hey, Prude. It has been way too long since we last talked. I'm having to sort my thoughts to try and figure out where to begin. If you're coming to see me, there's a chance it's for mage business and not for a personal call. Which is fine, but I'm not letting you off the hook. I want to hear about how things are going with Terra. I never seem to when you're hidden in the back of my palace. I feel like we should catch up a bit. What do you think? Look at you! Yeesh, do those still hurt? Oh, uh, not too badly. They're healing, but slowly. Did your hair get cut in the fight, or...? Oh, this? Yeah, nothing so dramatic. I just felt like I needed a change. and his kobolds tried to convince me to let them cut it, but I had Oglin do it. It was kind of weird, though. He was silent the whole time. 
And when he finished, he looked so grim. I can't help but wonder what was on his mind. So, do you think it looks terrible? No, I like it. It suits you. Anyway, the thing I need to talk to you about can wait. It has to do with sword and how it's missing. How do we lose a sword? Believe me when I say that's the least of my questions about sword. Anyway, me and Tara are doing very well. Have you had sexy times yet? Can... Can lesbians have sexy times? Ah. Uh... Oh, no, 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 oh, goddess, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've had sex in my mind a lot recently. Heck is a bit of a virgin, and he's been avoiding intimate situations with me after he had a bit of, um, performance anxiety. Well, that actually kinda makes sense, I guess. I'm sorry. I know you don't want to be thinking about Hector having sex. You have no idea. So, how is your maid training going? Hector is trying to get me to train with the kobolds, but I've just been so busy. Oh, I wish Aku was here. I really need to hire a replacement. It's going well. I have a lot I need to learn to catch up to Belinda. Oh, goddess Belinda! Can you believe she's gotten so good? It's not fair! Oh, <laughs> like I have more time in the day! Yeah, it surprised me, too. How are things with Heck, aside from... The lack of sex? Yeah, I know you have kind of a libido. Uh... I'll be honest. They're not so good. I think I really freaked him out when I tried to jump him a few weeks ago. And then there's the fact that he could have died fighting Freyus. I don't think any of us could have dealt with Freyus. That brings us to important matters. Do you think you can get that spell that protected you to work for all of us? Maybe. I've been too busy training in new magics to try. Eh, fair enough. So, what did you come to see me for? We should probably talk now before I need to head back to court. Oh, that's not a good look. Before I talk to you about this, you have to understand. I don't know if Sword is telling the truth. During the fight, Vreyas told me the Heads had some way of beating him. Hector mentioned this to me. What I didn't tell Hector is that Vreyas told me something else. Something about the Heads. He told me that they had been under his control. He told me that everything they did was at his command, and snared just like you were. He told me that I killed two innocent women. Women who might have held the only means of defeating him. Then, the other day, Sword told me something else. Sword told me that. What did Sword tell you? Sword told me that it could bring back the dead. You couldn't possibly be suggesting. Prude, they weren't. Ash, they killed my mother! Think about this, Prude. That didn't go well.
know. Hello. Oh, shit. I need to know exactly what you know. Would you be so kind as to tell me? I know about the ninth mission. Hardly a secret, that. I suppose we don't shout it from the rooftops, but one would hope that your friends would have figured it out by now. You don't ride like you did after something as simple as hearing our mission statement. Please continue. The death of the King of Solheim. Oh! Wow, how embarrassing. I didn't realize the knights had progressed to that point already. Will this affect anything? It's nothing to concern yourself with. In fact, it means nothing in regards to your work here. Elena here will of course be most helpful to your efforts. Well, no, no, he... remember. She's not his spy. The second she was in his presence, he took over her mind again. So, she's not his spy, like, president to this. Now, she probably isn't until she gets broken from it, but no. Now tell me, that couldn't have been all you learned, could it? The other changeling. That is enough. Do as I asked, and keep an eye on her. Make sure she doesn't end up saying anything. It will be my pleasure. And if things go poorly? Do as you will. Who is the cloak? I have a feeling the person that, he, that was in the dark is the spy that's been in the castle. Can't leave yet. Yeah, Not no, with Rhea still about. Trying to figure out who the other changeling. I honestly wonder if Sword is a changeling, and he took the shape of a sword to be able to easily go through things, like be able to be in places that he normally wouldn't be able to. I honestly wonder if Sword is a changeling, though. It would explain why he was the older guy and all that. But then it still doesn't explain like hiding the sword. <sighs> I do not think that creature is so interested in kobolds that it will follow us. I 
imagine that Mox's concern isn't entirely unfounded. What would make you think such? Vreus is the type to hold a grudge. I would not be surprised to see him chase you all the way to your island just to hunt you down, Croc. And Belinda too, of course. I'm hoping that a few of the mages here could step up and deal with him without her. But we should deal with him before we leave. If the order from Toulouse gets here soon, it'll be a matter of a few days of travel. Yeah, it would explain why Varys is scared at the death of him. It could also be that changelings become more powerful the more they eat another chainling's core. I don't know. And maybe that's why Sorg wants to eat his core. Plus, if we deal with him, you free up so many other busy mages to help us deal with your little problems. Our people die as you leave your machinations. A temporary problem, I assure you. Have I not proven my power to you already? Yeah. Might want to let Mr. Warlock in. How were you able to tell it was me? same way I do most things. Magic! What can I help you with, Hector? What makes you think I was here to see you? Arrogance, of course. Is there something we can help you with, Queen Warlock? I am not actually a queen. You see, Prude and I are not married yet. Not to mention, I am not entirely sure the title would apply to the male partner in a Celestian Monarchal relationship. And Sword is right. I am actually here to see it. I do not accept this decision, Mox. We will finish this discussion later, Croc. For now, the Queen wishes to speak with Sword. I need to know something. I... Is Sword here? Yes, I am. How can I help you, my king? Shove it. Why is that I'm hearing secondhand of your plan to bring back the women who killed my mother? Heck, what are you doing here? Okay, I'm pretty sure those two are mates of the same species. I believe you are correct, though the relationship is having difficulties. Don't try to divert my attention, Sword. I'm not letting you deflect me. Not about this. I think the talking weapon has a point. Prudence, we need to talk. Something is wrong, or at the very least, something is different. I can feel it about you. Heck, please, not right now. You refused to talk to me about it, but you went from... Now, I don't think this is... bad. I am so happy to see you happy, but why won't you tell me what happened? <sighs> At least I know one person who will answer my question. Sword, tell me, did you do something to Prudence? No, please. Yes. Yes, I did, Hector. What did you do? Nothing she didn't ask for. Heck, please, we can talk about this. What did you let it do to you? 
I'm not as strong as you, Heck. I don't know if I ever will be. What are you talking about? I, I don't know how you can suffer loss after loss and just... just bounce back. I can't do that. I tried, Heck. I tried to just get over it. To just... cheer up. I was barely able to sleep because of the nightmares. Every moment of my life was just another drop of despair. Every food I used to love, every person who brought me joy, everything in this world that brought me happiness, it all just left me with a gray mess with nothing inside. I... I couldn't do it anymore. Heck. I was ready to die to be free of it. For a moment when Freyus took me, I was happy because he made me love him. It was the first real emotion I had felt in months. Being taken by him didn't scare me because I wasn't in control. It scared me because I enjoyed it. Prudence. I... No! I'm not done. I don't know how it works, or even if it's safe, but for the first time in months, I feel like me again. I don't care if there are risks. I don't care if you disapprove, if anyone disapproves. I just don't want to go back to what I was. Prudence. I am sorry. I, I didn't... I didn't know. <laughs> it's okay. You always did struggle with that kind of thing. Oh, see? Everything's better after a little old-fashioned communication. Uh. It is okay. We do not mind. Observation of states of high emotion help us to understand them. So you wanted to talk to me about the resurrections I had planned? Yes. I want to know why I'm only hearing about it now. Because I only told Terra to tell Ash. It's up to her if I bring them back. And if I tell you not to? I'll leave it up to her. You should talk to her about it if you want to stop me. You're welcome to try, my key. You don't think I could just take you now and smelt you into scrap? Pretty sure that would stop you. You're welcome to try, my key. We won't stop you if you want to try, your majesty. Fine. I'll talk to her. Ah, before you go, I just want to make sure everything is okay. Ah, uh, yes. Any side effects? Is the dosage high enough? Are you drugging her? Proverbial dosage. But hey, don't knock drugs. Some of them have very legitimate uses. I'm... normal? I don't really know what else to say about it. Very good. Well, have a nice chat with Ash. Will this last? As long as you keep our deal. 